Commercial and industrial vehicle fleets burn large volumes of fuels. They are responsible for a considerable amount of greenhouse gas emissions. And that is why several cities, organizations, retailers and different partners at the Global Climate Action Summit held in San Francisco in September committed to buy or support the buying of electric vehicles. And while many countries have pledged to replace diesel engines with battery-powered and zero-emission transportations, Central America may be behind on that transition. The use of renewable energy for electricity generation is a big step that regional experts say should be prioritized, perhaps even before getting on the clean transportation wagon. Costa Rica is the only country in the region that is using renewable sources to generate almost all of its electricity. The rest of the region is yet to catch up. For Central America, there are more important issues. One is, uh, why are we promoting electric transportation when the electricity is mainly generated with fossil fuels? It doesn't make much sense. Uh, in most of Central American countries, we still have a big unfinished homework uh, to move uh, towards a 100% renewable agenda on the electric sector. So, that's the first and number one priority. It doesn't mean, it, again, you know, it doesn't make much sense to go from fossil fuel cars to electric cars if the electricity is being generated mainly with fossil fuel. So that's an issue that Central America needs uh, to address. Minister Carlos Rodriguez says that Central America must also address the big issue of deforestation and forest degradation if the region wants to slash its emissions and meet its targets. The most important element in terms of CO2 emissions from Central America comes from deforestation, not from cars or electricity, it comes from deforestation. And deforestation is still very high. In the last, uh, in the last uh, 20, 20 years, Central America has lost probably 25% of the forest. And this is very bad news. It's not just bad for nature, it's bad for climate change, it's bad for, uh, for people who live, farmers, indigenous communities. And you know, losing, losing the forest for Central America is like losing the money that we have in the bank. And we're losing forests even in protected areas. And now Central America, they just, in Central America we have just five big forested areas left. One is in Belize, Guatemala and, and Mexico. These are just the last patches of forest left in Central America. We need to work on that, we need to stop deforestation. The Central American countries will never ever achieve their climate targets if we still have the same level of deforestation. In, in the northern part of Central America, most of the deforestation is related to cattle ranching. Cattle ranching is related to drug trafficking and violence and insecurity. I mean, it's a very complex issue. But we, if we want to be serious uh, in terms of climate mitigation, and as well for adaptation, we won't be able to adapt our economies and our people to climate change and we lose the money in the bank. Costa Rica has managed to balance economic growth and tackle climate change. Minister Rodriguez says sustainable tourism development is already helping Costa Rica and Belize to grow their economies and protect the environment. Costa Rica stopped deforestation, doubled the size of the forest while our economy um, uh, tripled in size. So, it grow. so protecting nature is not a barrier for growth. It's not a burden for the economy, and as a matter of fact, protecting nature can be can be a way to generate economic growth. And this is the case of Costa Rica, and this is something that Belize is already working. Tourism is a major industry in our countries. It can it can be the main driver of economic growth. And what do they want to go upon and do in Belize? They want to see the, the beautiful. Coral reefs, they want to go, go to the Blue Hole in San Pedro, but then they want to go to, to, to the forest and then they want to see the Mayans, ruins, and Asian cities. I mean, the, the whole package is, uh, is, is a green package, it's a nature, it's an, a, a nature based package. Reporting for News 5, I'm Andrea Polanco.